if you are thinking to do your GIS project within cheap cost by using open source software, then this course is for you. Because in this course, we are going to learn about QGIS, which is previously known as Quantum GIS, is a free and open source GIS software. If you don't know about QGIS, then don't worry. This course will make you from zero to hero in QGIS. Now let's see what we can do by using QGIS. Although it is a free software, but by using QGIS, we can do our any types of GIS work easily. Even by using this, we can do many difficult GIS tasks easily, smartly by using single click. See this 2.5D map, which is developed by using QGIS. Now you have a question, what we are going to learn in this course? In this course, we are going to achieve all basic knowledge of QGIS. Even we will learn also few advanced GIS tasks by using QGIS. We will learn how to get QGIS software, how to install QGIS step by step process, user interface of QGIS in detail. Not only that, there are many magical tips and tricks are waiting for you in this course. We will learn also how to georeference image map by using QGIS interface. We can do this very easily. You will enjoy this by playing with this. We will learn also how to create shape file and uh, how to edit shape file easily and how to digitize to get accurate result. This map is digitized by using QGIS. We will learn filter and data source. Not only that, we will learn also the magical tips to start any kind of code language. We will learn CRS, which means coordinate reference system in QGIS. How to set layer visibility in our shape file, same as like any base map. We will learn how to import Google Earth KML from Google Earth to QGIS software and how to add different types of raster data, say georeferenced image map or Landsat image map in QGIS interface. Detail about attribute table and uh, how to add field inside attribute table, how to delete any field from attribute table and the basic knowledge of data type, say what is precision, what is length and how to add date type field in attribute table, how to add both date and time type field in attribute table. And uh, we will learn how to add label in our shape file label properties of different types of features which are point feature line feature and polygon feature we will learn how to add different types of symbology in our different types of features say point line and polygon we will learn also what types of symbology properties we have in our qgis interface for our these three types of features we will learn these three types of features separately. We will learn also how to add a pie chart in our each feature. Not only that, there are many magical tips and tricks are waiting for you in this course. If you want to play with all of this to enjoy GIS in the field of QGIS, then enroll in this course. And remember, in GIS, nothing is impossible, just ways are different. We need to find that suitable way. So all the best and enjoy GIS by enrolling in this course.